Check it, check, 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 mic, check, mic, check. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, troops, wherever you are in the world, and welcome to the channel, Mark. That's me, my words, where we follow trading, traveling, and training. As always, before I do again this very quick video, please continue to hit that subscribe button down there and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. Here we are, troops. Thursday, the 24th of February, 2022. A day early, I did say I was going to make another video on Friday, but events are running away from us. So I wanted to just jump on, do a quick video, give you my take on what's happening, what happened yesterday, and what might happen, probably going to happen today, tomorrow, for the rest of the trading week. So, uh, brutal day yesterday, absolutely brutal for everybody. The spy in complete meltdown um, most of the stocks on my watch list were red. Our favourites, GameStop and AMC, finishing red, continuing the fall in uh, after hours there, you can see. Um, pushed by, I think the main driver to this, two things, troops, okay? The first one, obviously, the hot topic at the moment is what's going on in uh, the east of Europe, Ukraine and Russia, and what's going on there. I'll give you some more information on that shortly and also you know i i was talking about this yesterday in the discord you've got to look at where we've come from um in the last two years and this is the way i see it i mean this this here this area here is when covid hit here you can see that uh you see that sell off right there look that's when covid first came yeah and the st look <laughs> I just don't get it. The economy's, the world has been closed for pretty much two years and the spy reached record highs. Like that's just pumping money and that's obviously causing inflation. Now interest rates are going up. So it's all these things that, um, that are playing into where we are now. You know, at some point, this, this had to end. You cannot have this followed by this just keep going. It doesn't work like that. Um, so does that. But the big news, uh, as I've woken up in Europe today, is uh, what's going on um, in Eastern Europe. And for a while, the Moscow Stock Exchange has ceased trading. It stopped trading across the entire market because Russia has decided to move in on to certain parts of Ukraine. Um, you will see reports that says there's a full-scale invasion ongoing. I don't believe that. I'm not seeing that here. Um I'm bearing in mind, I am living in Central Eastern Europe and I'm closer to Kiev than I am to London. So, you know, that gives you some idea of the geography of where I am. And I'm not seeing a full scale, not that I could look out my window and see it, but I'm not seeing it across the news as a full scale invasion. People are saying that, but if you've learned anything in the last two years, it's that the mainstream media, they love to talk this stuff up. They talk it up because it's clickbait. They just want the chant. They want the, they want the uh, traffic through their through their websites and stuff. Yeah, it just it's not a full scale invasion. Troops, I've been in, I've been in the army. I know what a full scale invasion looks like, and this ain't it. Especially from uh, you know a superpower uh, like Russia. You will see things like 80% of Russian troops on the border are ready to go. Well, there's not 80% of Russian troops on the border because if there were there'd be what over a million of them there close to two million and there's not there's less than two hundred thousand so it, it's just playing on words semantics so just bear that in mind but i think today um obviously the 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 american markets are closed at the moment i've seen the indian market is down three percent japanese market is down three percent um you know we'll see how that um how that transfers into into the US market, but I expect it to just keep keep going down troops today. Um, there's got to be some firm action. Something has to come out now to try and stop what is going on in Ukraine with Russia. I think the time for for words is you know fast running out. Sanctions, obviously. <laughs> You know, all these world leaders that came together and said, right, we're going to stop your trading. We're going to stop your banks working. We're going to hit some... Putin just doesn't seem to care. So, you know, where do you draw the line? But that was it, troops. I just wanted to give you uh, that update. Um, it, it's probably time, if you are nervous about the stocks and stuff, it's probably time to just switch off the charts, take a break. 
you know, get ready for the weekend, focus on something positive um, and try not to think too much about this on an AMC GME level because it is not just AMC and GME. You can see everything is pretty much red. There's okay, some green there, that's after hours. Um, but yesterday, huge sell-off. So that's it, troops. Just wanted to give you my take on what's going on, what I think might happen. I will check in with you again tomorrow. Let's see uh, how it plays out today. I'm going to crack on with some work. I'm going to get outdoors, get some fresh air. I'm not going to be sat looking at the charts all day. That's for sure. So that's it. That's what I've got for you in this video. As I said, if you have enjoyed the content, do give me a thumbs up on your way out. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, troops, where we will have a quick weekly wrap up. In the meantime, wherever you are in the world, do take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time. Cheers, troops.